Yo, what's up, PC, uh, Pierre TCG here, back at it again with another deck profile. Um, came back from the Worlds event, ended up taking second place. Um, everyone seems to love tier limit content, or at least the people who are looking for tier limit content uh, are really strong out there. So I thought I'd show you the deck I ended up taking out there. <clears throat> and uh, playing, um, did end up getting the QCR uh, Doom Caliber Knight that I really wanted out of the thing anyway. So that was really nice for the guy who ended up selling me. And I pulled a Silhouette Rabbit, which is pretty sweet out of my entry pack. So <clears throat> didn't walk away completely empty handed for the day. So let's go ahead and just get into the profile. And uh, I can kind of talk through some of the choices I had and kind of some of the changes that hopefully I'll make. But starting off, we got the standard lineup, three Rhino Heart, uh, one of each of the girls, we have three tier cash and then the honorary uh, Teal Monster Fenrir. Um, pretty typical package that you'd see. I uh, just wanted to play the one Fenrir. Uh, I did play the planet that you'll see later on, the um, Brazos to search this. Um, this card is pretty good all day. Uh, no complaints, just an extra interruption on the board. Uh, only hand trap in the main. I was playing three mile charming. Um, this card's super strong, obviously, uh, it being an Aqua, and then uh, there are quite a few people who are playing Bestials right now. So when you do go first, just activating this and putting it in the grave uh, means it is an alive fusion material, plus also um, you get a draw if they Bestial you, so you can kind of recoup some of those losses when those Bestials hurt the most. <clears throat> uh, one of, so we got one of each of the Shufflers, still super strong. I probably wouldn't play without these. <laughs> um, I was winning the people in today, so uh, it's Squamata and Beast. Um, honestly, super good. Uh, Fuel's extra darks is the reason I was playing the Squamata. If you hit the Squamata, it sends the Beast, gets you a draw, but then it's multiple darks for uh, fusion targets. So you can fuse one into the Mud Dragon to go into like Bahamut lines, uh, putting back the Beast, and then the second one can be uh, put back to make the Winda. Um, so that really helped out. I was playing, trying to make more rank fours live, uh, just even more bodies. Um, like you'll see, I'll play the, I play the Fiendsmith. So a nice horse serpent, um, you could just hit and then it just generates another body for you to continue to go off. Um, so that was, uh, it was pretty handy. Uh, I did side it out going second. I only put it back in going first, just in case I needed to kind of luck off of their hand traps or anything like that to try and continue playing. So. Uh, we got three engraver, uh, we got the one lurry and then one tracked. Um, engine's still super viable, super good. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I was making later in the extra deck, but uh, continues going through, gives you extra link bodies, and uh, gives you a bunch of follow up, so super strong. Um, spells, we had uh, the planet package. Three tier planet, one Rhesos, and a terraforming. Um, kind of plays a little bit harder into Droll, but I think the deck just nowadays plays into Droll a little bit harder. So um, games like two and three, if I thought they were siding Droll, I definitely would like side down on these. Um, but uh, I think it's I think it's too worthwhile to have the option to uh, have terraforming be a little bit more live if you do already see one of these. Terraforming can grab you. Uh, the Fenrir is an interruption, plus the Fenrir then grabs you the extender, so uh, it's too strong. Three Scream. Uh, I think right now um, it's mandatory to play Three Scream. Uh, card is just really good. Helps you get out of sticky situations with uh, milling, especially on your opponent's turn. Now that Beatrice is banned, uh, you do need to try and get a little lucky on your opponent's turn sometimes, and uh, this card can help facilitate that. Plus the 500 uh, attack point drop, plus your planet boosting by 500 comes up a lot. A thousand points is a big difference. One grief, uh, this card is pretty strong still. Um, helps you get through uh, additional plays, especially after you go through your Fiendsmith line, you end up on a dark monster. So you can go ahead and grief that dark monster off to get a Merly and the mill three and to continue going on. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we have two Foolish Burial Goods. Um, I keep going back and forth on this card. I kept citing one out throughout the day uh, just because I never wanted to see multiples of this. Um, so it's kind of the theory of I wanted to see it, so I played two, but I didn't want to see it uh, in multiples, so I 
didn't want to play three. Uh, flawed logic or not, it ended up working out. Uh, one talent in the main, uh, I did side a thrust as well. So uh, just having this option uh, to be available in the deck was really strong. One called by, try and beat shifter sometimes if you get lucky, otherwise it's just good. Uh, other non-engine I played in the deck was three droplet. Uh, probably just the best generic board breaker and you can still set it as an end board piece. It's all the spells, getting into just the few traps. Two Solik, um, mandatory for tier. I was attempting the one meta noise. I think this is gonna get cut. As much as the idea of being able to still make Winda on their turn with this by sending uh, one of the tier limit names from deck, uh, it just doesn't come up practically. You'd just rather more, more times than not have just the Solik at your disposal. Uh, instead of the meta noise, so and then the one trippy karma. We will jump into the extra real quick. Uh, obviously, playing the one Kaleido Heart. Uh, we have the Dragospelia, Mud Dragon, Garua. I was siding Super Polys, so that's why the Garua is in here. And then there's some really weird, awkward situations you can get into where you mill a tier name early. Um, like the Merlin, and you want to be able to put it back, but there's no fusions to make besides the Kaleido Heart. Um, and sometimes you don't want to give up the Rhino Heart on board to be making the uh, Bahamut line. So uh, being able to have this also engraved as a, a fusion target, or this in the extra deck to have as a fusion target, as well as the ability to have another six on board did come up a couple times. Obviously we have the window. And then the Necroquip Princess for the uh, Fiendsmith stuff to go along with Fiendsmith stuff. Closed Movement, uh, Requiem. Uh, Closed Movement is still a full combo for uh, rank six. So um, still should just be playing it. We have Sprint. Uh, Dark, this was uh, what Sequence got play replaced with, um, especially with the uh, target I played. I guess we can just go over it was the Pilgrim Reaper, being able to go into Pilgrim Reaper, um, mill five for each player, and then if you hit a dark, you can uh, link this off, plus anything into the Gloomy, take it, go into Sprint, um, was pretty, it did end up coming up quite a bit. I did play three Shifter decks, funny enough, that I ended up beating, uh, so I milled, uh, milled Shifter a couple times, uh, and then Dark took it, making Sprint, so... Um, Still pretty strong and then the one sp rounding out the links extra um xyz's we had bahamut toad and then time thief time thief really didn't actually come up uh in theory uh you can get stuck with shiren on your board sometimes now and then uh obviously if you get stopped enough a shino and a rhino heart can just make this and then it gives you follow-up on your opponent's turn so another also way to make wind on your opponent's turn Side deck, um, I wasn't really happy with my side deck, but we can just kind of go through it. Uh, one scatter shot, obviously, time reasons. Uh, two bestials. Uh, I was pretty scared about branded. Um, this deck will still just has a tough time with branded. So, um, and there's enough things going around with Fiendsmith where the bestials can come up. Might move these to the main, to be completely honest, just because of how strong they are. Uh, three super polys, um, kind of mid. Came in a couple times uh, when I did see it. It was pretty good, but uh, still needs more testing. One Harpies, uh, one Thrust, and then one Heartbeat. Uh, so this was mainly to go ahead and uh, kind of help facilitate with either grabbing backboard, uh, uh, board breakers potential, and or the ability to grab some things like uh, one of the 2D bears. So if you're going up against Tempai, uh, if they don't hand trap you, you should be able to beat that uh, matchup. If they do hand trap you, you can just go ahead and set the D barrier. That's my logic. So instead of playing 3D barrier and kind of breaking off of it, uh, playing the thrust. That way, if I already have a D barrier as well and they do hand trap me, thrust can also grab the meta noise, which should come up. And then uh, we have three evenly and then the one crime. Uh, going through it, the deck did perform really well, even playing against so many shifter decks. Um, 
did get the my one loss was to voiceless voice which i just ended up kind of getting hand trapped to oblivion um not quite sure i don't know if there's another way to circumvent that besides removing maybe the shadal cards i ended up uh opening the shadal cards quite a bit and it made it awkward where i had to go into shiren lines and then the night sword serpent uh kind of like to stick to my hand as well um I was thinking about dropping the meta noise, like I said, just because the the traps stick to your hand uh, pretty consistently, unfortunately. Even though you're only playing four, uh, I think this is a 43 card list. Uh, I was trying to hide some of the bricks, but um, these just show up in your hand way too often. And unless you're milling a rhino heart, they just kind of get stuck there, which is super frustrating. So um, just something to kind of keep in consider and keep in the back of your mind on uh, what you kind of want to play. Um, Mulch Army was great, even though I won a lot of my dice rolls. Um, yeah, that's it. If you do have any questions, comments, uh, anything that you would like to see changed or uh, what you would do with the list, please leave them down in the uh, description or in the comment section. I'll go ahead and go through those and see what we can do and uh, see if we can bring Tear back into the meta. All right. Thank you and have a great one. Peace.